What is up guys, Jack here with another video. So as I was about to make or at least write further on a Death Stranding theory that I have in the workings, I came across yet another World of Warcraft cinematic. They call it cinematic, it's really not. Um, regarding two of my favorite characters, that is of course Green Jesus and Lady Proudmo respectively. And you know what? I am pretty exciting to see these two come back together, although I do not play the game. It's still interesting to see these two who went to so much hardship finally at least come on a common foot, if that is what they are doing. Well, the cinematic is called Crossroads, so I imagine that it is so. Now, it's marked as spoilers, but it doesn't do much to me because I don't really play the game anymore. Like, Blizzard, get your stuff together, man. Like, your art team is doing an excellent job, but whatever it is that you have planned, it feels still like a Battle for Azeroth it was still in beta and finally pull it together. But before I get to the reaction, I'd like to ask you a question. So, before all this is uh, it happening, um, Bane did help uh, Jaina reunite with his brother and broke. Um, not broke, but straight up betrayed the Horde. Now, there seemed to be a divide in the Horde uh, players, that is, uh, because in the latest video that I made, there was a lot of discussion about that. And even when I checked the cinematic once again, um, there was a lot of talk about this. So, which camp are you on? Are you on the camp of Bane Bloodhoof is the betrayer and he disrespect the Horde and he the worst thing ever or are you on the camp of the horse need to be reformed with for example Karen um, representing oh not Karen, a Bane uh, being a new war chief like I, I don't imagine the Thrall would come back in power not ever he he shouldn't he should be doing something else like being a councilman or something like that but yeah, that, that's uh, that's the question that I have for you because while I might not be doing straight up a video about it, these are ideas that I save for the future, in just in case I might return to the game and do something law related because that's what I love to do. But with that said, guys, let's jump into the video. Thunder Bluff. All right. I've had a lot of fun adventures and. A lot of death in that city. Blue-eyed green Jesus. <laughs> it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Thank you. Bane would have died without your aid. I couldn't let that happen. Nor could I. I refuse to fail him. Dude, it's massive. Like I fail his father. Yeah. I wish I could change that, that, it all. that wasn't really your fault, though. Karen. The blade was poisoned. Karosh. Theramore. Sometimes it feels like I did everything wrong. Sometimes you did. We all have. Hashtag Gareth did nothing wrong. To some extent. Sylvanas will come. But Sylvanas though, she's something burn. completely different. Just like Teldrassil. Mm. Once before, you and I stood side by side on the slopes of Mount Hyjal. Yeah, you did. That moral tree did not fall. Oh, the she's... Horde and the Alliance worked together. Horde. Alliance. We've come to this crossroad again and again, Jaina. It always falls apart. What's different this time? Oh! <laughs> when a girl cross touches your muscles, you know that things up. <laughs> and the one will want to know that Bane. <laughs> she wants the green G. Tell me your king. Oh my god. Not alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so crude about this, but. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is great. 
Uh, this is so good. You know, when a chick touches your muscle and you, you just suddenly just tense up just, just a little bit. <laughs> I imagine Frawl doing that. Like, what's different this time? You've grown so much, Frawl. Oh man, this is getting out of hand. But okay, um, those two are about to wreck some shit. Okay, it's kind of weird though seeing this is this type of alliance in an expansion called Battle for Azeroth, but they are most likely going to need that because once again they have a common enemy. Now previously with Legion, uh, the things were very split in that there was a lot of betrayals going on in the background, especially from Sylvanas' part, so on and so forth, assassinations also. I don't know, what are assassinations from the Alliance? I don't quite remember, but the Holds especially worst fault due to what they did, leaving Varian and his forces behind. And yeah, so bad, the death of so many chieftains, and it, it was just a no-no. But finally, they are fighting against Ashara, at least on some part, when Sylvanas is doing her thing. Um, she needs to be taken down. Like, I know, again, as I mentioned previously before the beginning of this reaction, I get it. I get that she is trying to restore the whole to some status, but to some extent, I see her like, like the Joker from the DC universe. Like, she's just an element of chaos that does nothing else but to drive that. She most likely just wants to drown the world in dead people just so she can rule it all. I mean, that's why she went for Helia. That's why she's been trying to do all these wicked things and just killing people for no reasons. She is a lot more mad than the Lich King. A lot worse. At least Arthas was kind of cunning. That was a, a part of him that I actually kind of liked. He will toy with you, but he did so not just for the sake of having you killed right after. But that's just my opinion. What did you guys think about this so-called cinematic? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any recommendation whatsoever, leave them there as well. And you know what? If you will like to support the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.